Let me show you several different ways how you can charge your Samsung Galaxy A16 5G. So when you actually get your phone inside the box, you actually won't find your charger adapter for this phone, which is a complete scam really. So only in the box you will find your uh, charger cable, but you will need adapter to charge this phone. So this actually uses type C and it's uh, type C on both ends. So if you actually want to charge this, you are going to need to connect one end to the phone obviously and find where to plug this in. So you can either get a wall adapter, uh, for example if you purchase it uh, at the Samsung store they charge for example here like 25 euros, which again is complete scam and ripoff. So in past really all phones came with a charger, but I really suggest you simply purchase a third party one, for example something like this costs like only 2 or 3 dollars and then you can simply plug it in and charge your phone uh, from the wall. Uh, then also you can pretty much plug this in anywhere which has a type C port, for example maybe in your laptop as well. Also if you want to you can even charge this phone in your car as well if you get a car adapter like this. So this phone actually doesn't have wireless charging so it can't be reverse wireless charged uh, using other phones. But this uh, can still be used, uh, sorry, charged actually from other phones. So if you get a phone basically which again has type C port then you can simply plug it in another phone which you want to charge from. Okay, and then this is what you have to do. So uh, automatically, as you saw, it started to charge, but if it's not charging, simply swipe down like this and select this USB for file transfer, click more, and then connect basically, sorry, scroll basically down here where you can see this. So if um, by default actually it's probably selected to charge other device. As you see, if I toggle this, either this device starts to charge or if I toggle it on, that other device starts to charge. And when it comes to charging speeds, this phone actually has got a really good charging speed of 25 watts. And for a budget phone, that's actually insanely good. Also, the battery capacity on this phone is 5000 mAh. So again, it's actually very huge and none of the flagship phones have this kind of huge battery. Overall, yeah, absolutely awesome phone. And if Samsung included the charger in the box, yeah, then this would be 10 out of 10 phone. Yeah, shame on you, Samsung. Anyway, good luck.